Did you know that there is one right depth to plant your corn, regardless of the weather? You talk to some farmers and they say, oh boy, it's dry, I'm gonna plant deeper. Or it's wet, I'm gonna plant more shallow. Or it's cold, so I, I wanna plant more shallow so we have a better chance of the soil warming up. Don't fall into that trap. With corn, it is very specific about the planting depth you will plant it at if you want to have success. Okay, and when we say there's an exact depth, there's actually a little range. So you don't have to have it at the exact spot, but our range is this. It's one and a half to two and a half inches. We don't want it any deeper than two and a half inches. We don't want it any more shallow than an inch and a half. So one and a half to two and a half inches, that's the ideal. Let's talk about the reason why you don't want it any more shallow than that. Let's start there. Okay, it's very important that you understand how a corn plant grows and develops. And regardless of what crop you're raising, Maybe you're not a corn farmer today and you say, wait a minute, I don't really need to tune into this. Think about every other crop that you're planting as well and find out if there are some different things in the growth develop and development of that plant that require it to be planted at a certain depth. Now with corn, this one is pretty interesting. Here's what happens as soon as that corn seed starts to germinate. So where that seed's at of corn or any grass seed, it stays right where you plant it. And a mesocotyl comes out of corn and goes up. The mesocotyl is the part that's going to go up from that corn plant and try to get out of the ground. So you've got this shoot that's going up and this is where we want to start focusing our attention. And, and the reason why we want to focus our attention on that is because the five main rings of the root system, they're called the nodal roots. There are five rings of nodal roots. They will actually come out above where the corn seed is planted. All right. And what happens is those will typically be in the top inch of soil. Okay, so if you've got a mesocotyl that's a minimum of, let's call it three quarters of an inch deep, and the five rings of nodal roots, bare minimum, they'll be in three quarters of an inch, well, you're at an inch and a half. So what happens is if you plant your corn at say an inch deep, now you're gonna end up with some of those rings of nodal roots above ground and that's not good because when they're above ground, they can't brace your plant as well, they can't bring in as much water, they can't bring in as many nutrients. So what we're saying is if you plant your corn at less than an inch and a half deep, you have absolutely hurt your corn yield. There's no question about it. So how do you know if I've got the planting depth right? You need to get out of the planter and dig around a little bit behind because it's going to vary depending on how firm that soil is or what your soil type is. So field by field and spots of the field by spots of the field, you're going to have to jump out of that tractor, get back, dig around, make sure your planting depth looks good because it's very, very important that you have all of your corn seed in that inch and a half to two and a half inches. Now let's talk about why you don't want it any deeper. It's pretty simple. If you have your corn planted deeper than two and a half inches, it takes a lot more energy to push that corn plant out of the ground and the more energy that's used, the less can go into yield. The other thing is you have more tendency to have leafing out below ground where there might be a little crust or something on the soil surface. By the time it's pushed up, three, four inches from, from down deep in the ground, it doesn't have as much energy to push that crust apart and burst through. So you don't wanna have that corn planted any deeper than two and a half inches deep either. So again, one and a half to two and a half inches, that's the ideal. On our farm, we'll typically shoot for two inches. That way we have a half inch on either side. What you wanna do this summer too, is go back and look at your fields and see how you did with planting depth and look around, especially before you start spraying herbicides post-emerge. Let's say your corn is about six inches to a foot tall and you say, oh, I'm gonna throw some dicamba in when I spray my Roundup. And you start putting a product like dicamba that's a growth regulator out. If you have exposed roots that are above the ground, you have more of a chance that those roots are gonna suck in some of that chemical and you have potential for injury. One of the things I love about doing our show is whenever Darren screws up, then I can give him a really hard time because he said six to 12 inches tall. Yeah, okay, like you status, can't for ever, example. You, you shouldn't ever spray dicamba when your corn is past the V5 stage. But and Brian, usually that's going to occur when corn is six to eight inches tall, we're not gonna, 12. We're going to get in a big debate here because status has a crop safer for corn. But <laughs> yeah. what, I, what my point is, is that when you spray any herbicide, it, it doesn't matter if it's dicamba or something else. You have to be, you have to be conscious that there could be some roots above ground if there are, you want to be really careful with the products well, that you're applying. What, what we're saying is, let's say that you screwed up. Let's say that you just made a mistake and you got your corn planted an inch deep. What you can do is you can actually go back out and run the cultivator, pull it out of the trees, 
first of all, then run your cultivator out in your field and hill up a little more dirt over there so you get those roots so they will not be above ground, they would actually still be below ground. So there are some ways to hopefully recover some of the yield that you've already lost, but you just, again, want to be really careful at planting time. Remember, when you plant that seed, that's the day that you have maximum yield potential on your farm. So you don't want to mess that up. Do the very best job you can planting and shoot for one and a half to two and a half inches deep on corn. One more thing I just want to point out is later on in the season you will see some brace roots that do come out above ground. Don't get confused with the brace roots. If you're looking at your corn stalk later on in the season and you see some roots that are what you think are brace roots, all you need to do is dig that plant up and again look for five rings of nodal roots below the surface of the soil. Once you count five rings, anything else is fine to be above ground. Well, it is really important to get your corn planted at the right depth, but another thing that's important is to control weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 